1v1 with pressure from the front. Now for all the tactical attacking concepts they evolve from a collective point of view in football, the individual 1v1 moment will always be the easiest way to attack and the hardest way to defend. And this is the case for all team-based invasion sports. That individual action of taking an opponent out the game, it opens up the spaces, it creates the overloads, and it destroys the opposition's defensive structure. Now in football, 39% of goals in the Premier League are scored within 10 seconds of a 1v1 winning duel, with the best players having a 60% plus success rate in 1v1 dribbles. There's just nothing more exciting in the game than watching that individual moment of brilliance, that spontaneous creativity, the maverick skill that gets people off the seats. And regardless of the sport, people are drawn to mavericks. The athletes who transcend the respective sports, they often have very similar qualities. They excel in creativity, in skill, in risk taking, in flair, in confidence, and have that ability to express themselves freely in the most pressurized of moments. Now, 1v1 situations truly are the embodiment of creativity from an attacking standpoint. And creativity is nothing without freedom of expression and little fear of failure. And in terms of 1v1s, they're not all equal and there's several different types. So when a player receives the ball, there's essentially four different 1v1 moments and these are all dependent upon the opponent's pressure. Now they split into defender in front, which is your dribbling actions, defender from behind, defender on the side, which is your Cruyffs and your inside and your outside hooks, or finally, defender on the covering angle, where the approach comes from one side. So this video will specifically break down the 1v1 defender in front scenario. Now, with regards to specific moves then, it's the principles that are more important than the actual moves. So whether it's a step over, a body sway, a flip flap, it doesn't really matter. The principle of selling the change of direction is most important. So when players face up an opponent 1v1, the aim has to be get the hips and shoulders fixed or square on, imbalance them to one side where you then exploit the other side. Now the key to beating an opponent is the disguise and that's what creates this imbalance. So let's have a look here at these different step overs. So tall, upright frame, no bending of the knees, minimal use of the upper body. Now the defender has to believe that you're either disguising a pass or a change of direction. Look at the difference in disguise here between this step over and then Messi's example. The very best 1v1 defender in front player I've personally ever seen was the Brazilian Ronaldo. This split screen here, this shows the difference in disguise between the way he sells a move and other players. Look at how much he exaggerates his lower body, the bottom knees, literally inches off the ground, the planted legs on nearly a 45 degree angle more or less the upper body's rotating, and all these elements, they come together as the perfect example of disguising a change of direction in that 1v1. Now, the disguise is what pins the defender, and the timing is when you're waiting for the defender to make the move and commit. And remember, the dribbler is already forward-facing in acceleration phase, whereas because the defender's hips are flat and square, He's got to go then through three different phases once the ball goes past him. So turning, then accelerating, then into top speed. Now, an important psychological thing for dribbles to remember over a 90 minute game, you only need to beat them once, whereas they've got to get it right every single time. How do we develop defender in front then? Well, here's a quick exercise. Three players, the first one passes in to the player behind the mannequin who comes off on the angle, so either side, and he's got to get in a position then when he receives so he can see both players with an open body shape. Then the top player is the defender and they can jump out and press as soon as the passer plays in, so on his touch. Now there's two gates either side where the dribbler can get one point by getting through them or two points by getting over the top line so it's behind the defender. So, open body shape, awareness of distance, defender, this dictates how you're gonna receive, and then it's up to your creativity, so the timing, the disguise, the relevant moves to get the defender off balance and then exploit the spaces. Players then rotate, so you just take each other's places in this. Get the defender's balance going to one side by using the relevant moves to your identity and don't overcomplicate the process. Stick to the basics 
And remember those Ronaldo type disguise and that exaggeration. And pressure in front will very quickly become pressure behind in that millisecond if the defender doesn't buy the disguise, you move it to one side and then they go to that side as well. So make sure to check out our webinar 1v1 Creating the Maverick on trainingspecific.com and here we break down the whole process from right at the beginning unopposed all the way to opposed in how to dominate these 1v1s. And that is the 1v1 Defender in Front video. For more sessions and webinars, please visit www.trainingspecific.com.